If you've ever tried to redact a file, typically it looks something like this, where you loop through the file looking for the exact words you want to redact. But what if you had a theme of words you wanted to redact? For example, say you wanted to moderate a piece of text for harmful words and topics that may be sensitive. Or better yet, you wanted to give the author the chance to rewrite the text so it's less harmful. That's what we're going to do today with Google AI. So hello world, I'm Blondie Bites, and I make videos on my channel about Java, Python, and software development. We're going to see the real capabilities of Google AI and how we can use them in Python. With that out of the way, let's make an app that not only has the ability to moderate text, but also gives the author an opportunity to rewrite their text so it's compliant with the guidelines. The first step is to get our authentication credentials from Google's AI Studio. We'll be authenticating with an API key. So let's create an API key. And it's generated. Be sure to save this API key somewhere safe because we're going to use it later on in our application. With that done, let's set up our development environment. We'll go into the terminal into our desktop. We'll create a folder called moderate text project and we'll CD into it. Now in order to run our application, we'll need to download some dependencies. We can do that using pip. These will allow us to use Gemini in our application. We'll also set up our API key as an environment variable to use in our scripts later. I'll clear this up and we'll move on to the Python script. To write our Python code, I'll be using Sublime, but you can use any plain text editor. Let's save this as app.py. To start off, we'll add some imports. The first import is the OS module, and this will allow us to retrieve our API key from the environment. The second is for Gen AI, and this will allow us to connect to Google's Gemini AI. To get our API key, we'll create a new variable and use the OS module. We'll use get env and then the name of our environment variable. So that is Google API key. All right, let's write some code. First, we'll configure the Gen AI module to use our API key. This will authenticate all of our requests. Then we'll retrieve the model we want to generate content from. We'll be using Gemini Pro. So we'll access the Gen AI module and get our model called Gemini Pro. Now for the core part of the program, determining if the text needs to be moderated and providing options for a rewrite. Let's create our prompt. Here's our prompt. So we asked Gemini to determine if the text needs to be moderated, and if so, provide options for rewriting the text. If the text does not need to be modified, then we should not be providing suggestions. And so we tell Gemini don't provide suggestions. And for that output, we want it to be easy to print to the console because that is how we're gonna be interacting with this application. So we asked Gemini to make it something easy to read. There's actually a place in Google AI Studio where we can practice creating prompts and see what Gemini will output. Initially, my plan for this video was generating text with Google AI and then moderating that text with Google AI. But the problem with doing that is AI refuses to come up with some good insults. And this is actually a good thing. One of the reasons that LLMs are so useful is that they're creative tools that can address many different language tasks. However, sometimes they do generate output you don't expect. It can be offensive, it can be insensitive, or factually incorrect. Google has built-in content filtering as well as adjustable safety settings across four dimensions of harm. There are safety risks when it comes to using LLMs, so it's important to understand them and perform appropriate safety testing for your use case. 
On Google's DeepMind blog, they talk about how they use automated testing in a classifier to detect various harmful behaviors with test cases. It covers offensive language, data leakage, contact information generation, distributed bias, and conversational harms. It's a pretty interesting post if you want to dive deeper into this. But for now, we'll go back to AI Studio and I'll show you some of those safety settings. By default, many of them block some common themes, but you can make it so it blocks nothing. Again, there are some things that Google is required to block, even if you have it set to none. And for our use case, generating things that need to be moderated fall into that category. You can learn more about the safety attributes and settings with this documentation. I'll link it down below. Let's head back to the code. Now with our prompt, the text to moderate is parameterized, but we can add it dynamically when we send it to Gemini. Let's create a variable for this called text to moderate. Then we'll call generate content on the model to send this to Gemini. And we'll print the output. Let's run it. So we'll go to our terminal and this is where our app.py file lives. We'll go app.py and it gives us some suggestions on how we could improve that text. Let's take one and put it in our text to moderate. We'll run it again. Our rewrite passed our moderation check. Alright, that's it for this video. With 20 lines of code, we were able to create a script that moderates text and provides the opportunity for the author to rewrite it. I hope you enjoyed using Google's new model with me and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching and happy coding!